Hi, I'm Shailin, and I sew. You may notice that I'm not in my sewing studio right now, and that's because it's really, really hot in my room. When we bought this house a couple months ago, it was winter in Florida, which meant it was around 70 degrees, and it got down to 50, maybe in the 40s for like a week. So it wasn't until about now that we realized how hot my studio got. With the AC on, my studio gets to about 80 to 85 degrees, and it is entirely too hot for me to sew all the time. So that's why I haven't been around for a while, but I decided to get a little bit creative for this video. This is my fourth scale mannequin. It's not a true mannequin, but it'll do. It's a jewelry stand, and I will be demoing how to do all the different types of circle skirts for you guys. Before we begin, I want to put down all the timestamps of all the different circle skirts that I'm going over in this video. And that's because there's so many different types of circle skirts that I'm going to go over that I wanted you guys to be able to skip ahead if you want to skip to the double circle skirt, for example. The first circle skirt we're going to go over is the true circle skirt, or the full circle skirt. This is also known as a swing skirt or a balloon skirt. Theoretically speaking, the circle skirt, the full circle skirt, is called that because the circumference of the inside circle is your waist, and then the um, the whole thing is literally a whole circle. So circle skirt math says that to find out how to draft a circle skirt, you need c equals two pi r. C being the circumference of your waist and we are looking for the radius so we can draft it on a sheet of paper. I'm going off the assumption that you already know how to um, put the pieces together and we're just going to talk about the different nuances of a circle skirt and the different types of circle skirts. A normal circle skirt they would show you in say a tutorial that all you have to do is fold your fabric in half and then fold your fabric in half again and then all you have to do is draw your radius from that corner making sure that that's the corner on the inside of your fabric right and you're going to draw your radius measure it out and make sure it's um, the same all the way across now for demonstration purposes I'm not measuring this out but you will need to measure it out every every so often that way it's the same all the way around right so that's your radius that's your waist measurement and then your radius for your waist measurement plus your uh, length of the skirt here that's gonna be what you use to draft the rest of the circle skirt what happens though if your waist is too large or your length is too large to fit on a normal piece of fabric. This is regular occurrence for everyone, for most people who either don't want a mini skirt. Um, for example, if I wanted to do this method where I folded the fabric in half and in half again, with my measurements I would only be able to have like a 15 inch circle skirt and that's too short for me. Say I've drafted it um, and I have a pattern piece already made out, this is what my circle skirt would look like. And you can tell that it's too big for my fabric, right? So what can I do instead? What I could do is I could take this piece and fold it in half. And what I'll basically be doing is I will be drafting the circle skirt two times on my fabric. I will instead open up the fabric, so instead of having it cut on the fold here, I'll have my fabric fully open, and I will draw my pattern piece this way. Now, to save fabric, instead of cutting it out and having two half circles like this, you want to save a little bit of fabric, right? What you can do instead is you can flip the pattern piece and you'll be able to save your fabric a little bit here. Now the only time you won't be able to do this is if you have a border print. So for example, say my print, 
I have a border right here. I won't be able to do this because then my border will only be on the front of the skirt but not the back. So I will have to use the, I will have to draft it this way. But that's only if you have a border print. So that is your full circle skirt and this is how you draft it if your full circle skirt doesn't fit with the regular method of folding the fabric in half and then in half again. And I highly recommend this method anyway because um, then you'll have two seams on your uh, skirt and these seams can have pockets. So if you draft it the normal method and you only have the one seam in the back here, like here, then you won't be able to add pockets, right? You'll only have this one seam in the back and then that's it. If you do it this way, you'll be able to have two seams and that is your left and your right side and then you'll be able to add your pockets in. Now we're going to go over the rest of the types of circle skirts. There is what's called a half circle skirt. And as you can see here, it is half of a circle. Now, if you want the math for this, it's basically um, 2C equals 2 pi r. Basically, your circumference is two times as big as your waist because um, this portion here will fit your waist, and then if you doubled it, it would fit someone that's two times bigger than your waistline. That's how the math works out. Um, if you're using a circle skirt calculator, doesn't really matter, you just click the link that says I want a half circle skirt. Now how to do this, it's, it's actually very simple because on your pattern piece you'll be, do, be able to actually do what you couldn't do with the circle skirt. Which is all you have to do with this one is fold it in half, draw your radius and the radius of your waistline plus the length of your skirt and you'll be able to cut it out open it up and you will have your half circle skirt all cut out right there now if you want to take the extra step what you could do is you could add an extra inch to your waist measurement that way you'll have a slightly bigger circumference for your circle skirt and then you'll be able to cut this in half right here. That way you'll have two side seams and then you can add your little pockets. That is how you do your half circle skirt. Now the next circle skirt we're going to go over is the quarter circle skirt. Now this one, if you can tell, is only a quarter of a circle. Your quarter circle skirt, like I said, if you care about the math, is four times the circumference of your waist because you're only looking at the radius of a quarter of the circle. <laughs> so even though you're measuring for 4c equals uh, 2 pi r, you're only cutting out a quarter of it. Um, and this will be a less drapey type of uh, skirt when you put it on. It's going to look more like an A-line skirt. And again, another tip here is if you want to do the side pockets um, and do side seams, like I said, what you could do is you could add an extra inch and when you're doing your math or calculations, and uh, you can cut it right here in half and you'll have two side seams so you can add your pockets. Now here's a bonus. So we went over the quarter circle skirt, we went over the half circle skirt, and we went over the full circle skirt. What happened to the three quarter circle skirt? Why doesn't anyone talk about it? Not a lot of people talk about the three quarter circle skirt. Not because it's not a beautiful skirt, but because when you draft it on your um, pattern, or your, your fabric, you kind of waste material here. With the circle skirt, you were able to save some fabric by drafting the circle skirt partially on one side and then flipping the other half to the other side. 
And then of course when you do your half circle skirt all you have to do is cut it in half. And then again for your quarter circle skirt all you're doing is cutting this corner piece off and drawing it for the quarter. But when you draft the three quarter circle skirt you run the risk of wasting fabric and wasting material. And that's because the easiest way to draft a quarter circle, uh, three quarter circle skirt is to do it the way you would draft a full circle skirt. You would fold the fabric in half, fold the fabric again, cut your pattern, or draw your radius, and then draw your length radius, cut it out. And then what you would do normally is you would cut this quarter off. And that's a waste of fabric, right? You essentially just made a full circle skirt with a slightly larger radius than your full circle skirt. So it's already bigger than a normal circle skirt. And then you're just cutting this quarter piece off. On top of the fact that you likely won't be able to fit it on a normal piece of fabric, so how do we mitigate this? How do we make this easier? What I have done, personally, is I suck it up and I draft the quarter circle skirt onto a piece of paper. I like to use craft paper, the, the big rolls of uh, brown craft paper, and I'll draft a quarter circle skirt, a three quarter circle skirt like this, and what I will do is I will fold it in half and then I will keep this piece. That way when I draft it on a piece of fabric I will always have enough fabric to fit. Obviously my fabric is going to be bigger but it'll fit easier on my fabric because I have folded the whole pattern piece in half and now I also have two side seams for my pockets. Can you tell we like pockets here? Got to have those side seams so you can add those pockets in. That is personally the easiest way for me to draft the quarter, the three quarter circle skirt. Um, if you know of another method, please let me know down in the comments below. Bonus! What if I want to be fancy and have a more flared skirt? Is it possible to have more flare on a circle skirt? Why yes, you'll have what's called a double circle skirt. It literally means exactly what it is. Two full circle skirts put together. So it'll end up like this when you put it together. Obviously on the mannequin it'll look a lot nicer, but what you're looking at here is you take half of your waist measurement for the circumference and you do that two times so you have two of these full circle skirts that's smaller so for example I have a 30 inch waist I will draft a full circle skirt for a 15 inch waist two times so 15 plus 15 is 30 inch circumference and that's what it's gonna be Obviously, you might still have to do the same thing as you did with a full circle skirt, which is to cut it out four times. And then you'll have, you'll actually end up with a front seam, a back seam, and two side seams. But if you really want that really big flare, that's what you gotta have your extra seams. I hope this video was super helpful for you guys on deciding on which type of circle skirt you would like to make next. Again, we went over the quarter circle skirt, the half circle skirt, the three quarter circle skirt, the full circle skirt, and finally the double circle skirt. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel.